right, we're living our best life. On this Wednesday, Water in the Word, we are living our best life. And I wanted to start off the Wednesday's Water in the Word. First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you all for stopping by on this afternoon. I'm coming to you a little bit early today because I got some things I need to take care of. And I wanted to make sure that I got this video loaded as promised. Cheers. Um, make sure that you are drinking your water on this Wednesday's Water in the Word. Today, I want to speak to you about living your best life, which is why I thought that that song was so uh, befitting for this particular uh, episode. And that's what I want. I want you to live your best life. And what does it say? I'm not going back and forth with you. So what does that mean? I want to just use that song and bring this home on what I want to deliver to you all today. Don't go back and forth with people. To live your best life, that does mean that you have to keep yourself in a very um, successful surrounding. You got to make sure that you're doing the things that it's going to take for you to elevate. Um, for some of you all, it may be making sure that you are saving, making sure that you are um, budgeting, budgeting your money. Um, it may be something as simple as you might need to pay down some debt. There are some things that we have to do to really live our best life. It's not going to fall out the sky. You know, the Bible said with uh, faith without works is dead. And so that means, with that being said, that means we have to actually do some things. So let's go to the word and see what is God saying about living your best life. Um, and what I came up with, he gave me Deuteronomy 28. And it's saying, now it should come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord, your God, to observe carefully all of his commandments, which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. And all of these blessings shall come upon you. And listen to this. This is good news. And they shall overtake you. Because why? Because you obey the voice of the Lord. Okay, so now let's break that down. It's stating that in order for the blessings to come on us, we have to be intentional with our relationship with God. Meaning it's saying that to be for these blessings to come, we there are some things that we're going to have to do. Um, which brings me to my second point. You got to make sure that you are taking off some time to really hear God. Now, let me just say this. I've said this in a couple episodes, videos back. We are all on different fields playing fields. We are all on different levels in our faith. So this person may be over here, you know, in their faith, and you may be, for example, a babe in, in the Lord. It doesn't matter what level you're on. It just matters that you have to get started somewhere. How can you hear God's word if you never or understand his voice? How can you hear his voice if you don't develop a relationship with him? Because a lot of people may say, well, I don't know. How do I know if it's the devil if it's, if it, or if it's the word of God speaking to me? And sometimes it can be just our own will speaking. You have to be able to decipher and to be able to, um, you know, separate or understand the different voices. Because, you know, the enemy, he can speak as well. So developing a relationship by going to the word and reading the word and meditating and fasting and praying is going to, uh, let me use this as an example, like um, people who go work out their muscles, they go to the gym and they lift weights, right? So the more they lift, the more stronger they become. Well, that's the same analogy that I would like to use in the word. The more you read God's word, the stronger you're going to become in your faith and the stronger that your spiritual muscles are going to become. Um, and so that's what that is. And let's look at verse um, three, 28 verse three, 
Blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the country. So that means everywhere you go, you're going to be blessed. Blessed shall the fruit of your body, the produce of your ground, and the increase of your herds. That means everything, all these are all of your possessions. The increase of your cattle and the offsprings of your flocks. Blessed shall your basket and your netting bowl be. Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. Um, and the Lord will cause, listen to this, verse 7. It states that the Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. And they shall come out against you one way. And the Bible says that they're going to flee seven different ways. So you know what, friends? We don't have to worry about people coming against us. The scripture is clear that anybody who tries to come against you, you can just, just hold your peace and smile because the word is true and it's stating that they are already defeated. So you don't have to go and do some serious, uh, go to some soothsayer or you don't have to go and burn some candle on somebody and operate in, uh, you know, a spirit that's contrary to God's word. You don't have to do um, nothing evil that you've heard of these people that's going to do these wicked things to people. Or I'm going to get them back. I'm going to go burn a candle on them and all this silly stuff that, you know, yeah, don't do all That's just crazy. But, you know, and it's divination and that you end up opening up more doors and I'm going to talk about that on another one of these Winces in the Word about um, witchcraft. Um, that's going to be something else that I want to address. But that's for another segment. But nonetheless, we have the faith in knowing that we have the victory and that we can live our best life by being true to who we are. So that's what I have for this Wednesday's Water in the Word. And I just want to say cheers to you. For those of you who are new to the channel, and if this is your second time back, please consider being a subscriber. Go ahead and hit that button below, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.